Hello, this is Daniel Mart, and today I'm going to be doing another review. This time around, I'm going to be doing a review for episode 7 of season 1 of iZombie, and it is called Matern Maternity Live. Um, so yeah, before I begin though, 10 seconds spoiler warning as usual for those who have yet to actually watch the episode and have already stopped the video, go check it out in the command and watch the rest of this review. 10 seconds spoiler warning as usual, starting now. Okay, so 10 seconds are up. So for those who have yet to actually watch the episode and haven't already, um, please don't comment down below or be messaging me that I never gave you a fair warning because as usual, I did. Okay, so in this, um, so as usual, quick synopsis, likes and dislikes, in and the rate. So basically in this episode, um, you have Liv who eats the brains of this um, young pregnant woman um, found uh, found to be murdered by a couple campers. Um like the campers discovered her dead bodies, what I mean. Um, so, so yeah, she eats the brains, and now she has the um, maternal instincts. You know, right before someone gives birth, um, the or a woman gives birth, they always have these maternal instincts. By the way, the baby survived. Um, yeah, quick, quick heads up. Yeah, I don't, I don't think the um, CW is allowed to kill off babies in any of their TV shows to begin with. Um, maybe stillborn, but. Yeah, so the baby survived uh, somehow. I don't know the science behind that, so don't ask me. Um, so, yeah, so what I live develops these maternal instincts. You know, she's being um, motherly, if you know what I mean. And, yeah, meanwhile, on the flip side, you have Major, her ex-fiance, um, which I kind, of find, I kind of find funny that they left off on good terms. That's the one thing I want to know. Is that from the comics or whatever? Um, because again, I haven't really read the comics. Um, so yeah, meanwhile, you have Major, and he's investigating the missing persons, um, all these missing teenagers. Um, uh, Clive, he knows about this, um, a bit. Um, he knows about the missing teenagers. Um, uh, because he's seen the, I don't, I don't remember if it's this episode or the previous episode. Um, but he finds, he's, he goes to the skate park where, um, uh, all these missing teens are, and he looks at he asked you know have you seen any of these teens you know what's happened to them um you know because we're investigating it and this one kid says oh yeah there's been a bunch of missing teens and he just goes and he brings them to this wall where there's this just huge list of missing teens um so yeah whatever i, I don't remember if that was this episode or one of the previous episodes or a future episode i, I want to say it's somewhere between episode five and episode eight um i'm not completely sure possibly this, this episode don't quote me on that. Um, so whatever. So Major goes off to find the Candyman, um, which is basically Cla um, Blaine's second in command, the big hulking bodyguard type of guy. Possibly, I want to say Russian or Austrian or something like that. He, he um, at least his accent um, seems European, um, Western European, Eastern European. Sorry to be more specific. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just me or the actor. I don't know. Um, whatever. So, you have all that, and Major, he goes off to find this Candyman, who who he's nicknamed um, Candyman, his real name is, like, Julian or something like that. So, yeah, um, guy is fucking Hulk, um, big hulking as fuck, um, which comes to play in, in, like, in episode 9 and 10, um, whatever, so he goes off, um, tries to find who he is, he thinks he's a drug dealer to begin with, which is pretty funny, which... I guess it's a novice mistake, especially from his point of view, so whatever. He breaks into the guy's car, and he finds a brain, and now he's being introduced into this zombie world. He doesn't know anything about the zombie world yet, or at all. He just knows that there's some guy with a brain, and he thinks, you know, the guy's cannibalizing or whatever. Um, his excuse, um, Julian's excuse, um, to the police is that it's cow brains, and in some countries, it's considered a delicacy. Um, that's his excuse to Major, basically. Um, mostly because some of the police officers are zombies. So the, you know, police officers know that he's, they're, he's a zombie. They're zombies. They provide the brains to each other, you know what I mean? And they let him go and arrest Major. So yeah, overall, that was pretty good in my opinion. Really good in my opinion. Um... Yeah, overall, it's a pretty good episode for what it is. As usual, um, it's one of those uh, um, TV shows you really can't take too seriously. Uh, and really, it's one of those types of TV shows that you really just have to shut your brain off 
don't really pay attention to, to um to it that much. It's got some pretty good writing and some pretty good acting. Actually, the acting is actually pretty good, and so is the writing. But you know, just the concept is so um absurd. I guess you could say that you really can't take it seriously. So that's why I'll, normally when I review the, these um these episodes, I would say it's always good for what it is because I mean, if this were to premiere on like The Walking Dead. It really wouldn't pass I Zombie. Um, actually, this is I Zombie. Sorry. Um, Z Nation. For Z Nation, it could probably pass, but very unlikely, because of the type of show it would be. So yeah, just to connect it to some other zombie TV shows. So yeah, I mean, I think this is one of the more softer zombie TV shows because you know Walking Dead. Um, you know Walking Dead. You know what it is, and then Z Nation from like last year, which is actually a pretty good show. Show except for that one episode, which just fucked up the whole season and my channel, um, to some degree. Um, the Inception, um, episode, as I like to call it, first off, it fucked up my channel a bit, um, view wise and subscriber wise, actually. And just the season, just that's probably the weakest episode of that season. Um, just to get off the topic, whatever. So, that's a pretty good episode overall. Sorry for going off on a tangent. Um, as I always do. So, overall, it's a pretty good episode. Really did I did like it. And, yeah. On a scale of 1 to 10, will be the worst, 10 the best, and 6 being decent. I'd give it a 7 out of 10. I mean, it has some pretty good story development and character development. And, you know, it's pretty interesting as to where they take the characters. I think Major and Liv have to be the two most interesting characters. Mostly because Liv, she has to deal with the uh, brains being eaten and all that. So, there's that. And she, she got a boyfriend recently in the TV show. So, that she also had to deal with... She also, she also has to deal with him, which is pretty funny because he's also a zombie. So, um, yeah, they had this one joke um, and in a future episode, which I'm not going to... Um, it's a simple joke. It's not really going to ruin much. But basically, um, it's like he ate um, this a gay guy's brain. And and they didn't, so he doesn't have the passion for her anymore or something like that for like just temporary. So that was pretty funny. But that was like in a future episode, which I'll get to that. I think it's the next episode, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yeah, it's for Dead Air, I believe, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, or maybe this episode, I'm not completely sure. Um, small details like that, kind of forget. Um, but whatever. Overall, still a pretty good episode. Seven out of ten is what I'd give it. And yeah, honestly, um, that's basically it for now. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, and comic book reviews. Comment down below on your thoughts on the episode. Um, like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. And that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Mart signing off.